Hello friends. Currently we have build chat application using Ratchet WebSockets, with PHP script and MySQL, and under this part, we will learn, how two user can send and receive message to each other, under this WebSocket chat application. In previous part, we have seen, how to install Ratchet WebSocket library, under this RPHP and MySQL chat application, now we will learn, how to use Ratchet library, for send and receive chat messages, under this chat application. Now let's start discussing this topic, so for this we have go to chatroom.php file, and under this file, first we want to make chatroom area, in which we can see all chat messages, and then after we will make send chat form. So, first for make chat room area, so here we have create one division tag, with class is equal to card. Under this tag, we have create another division tag, with class is equal to card header, and between this tag, we have write chat room, so this is header of this chat room. Next. We have again write division tag with class is equal to card body, and here we have write add another tag id is equal to messages area, under this tag, we will load chat message history. So here our chat room is ready. Next, we want to make send chat form, so here we have write form tag, with id is equal to chat form, with method is equal to post. Under this form, first we want to create text area field, in which user can write chat message, so here we have write text area field, with id is equal to chat message, name is equal to chat message. Here we have write placeholder attribute is equal to, type message here text. Here we have use parsley javascript library for form validation, so for here we want to set limit of 1000 character, so user cannot enter more than 1000 character, so here we have write data parsley max length attribute is equal to 1000. Same way here, we want to set validation like, user can only enter alphabet and number only, so for this, here we have write data parsley pattern is equal to, this regular expression. And this field value is required for submit form, so here we have write required attribute, so here we have set all required validation. Now, we want to submit form, so here we have write button type is equal to submit, name is equal to send, id is equal to send. So by click on this button, user can submit this chat message. So here our chat form is also ready, now we have check output in browser. So here friends, we can see chat application login form, so here we have enter login details. After fill login details, we have click on login button, after click on login button, here we can see page has redirect to chatroom.php page. Here on this page, we can see chat room at the left side of page, and below this chat room, we can see text area field, with submit button, so by using this form, user can submit chat messages. For submit chat message, we have again go to chatroom.php file, and here we have create one division tag with id is equal to validation error, under this tag, we will display parsley library validation error. Now we want to initialize this parsley form validation library, so here we have write dollar with form id chat form, with parsley method, this method will initialize parsley form validation library. Next, we want to send chat form with data, so here we have write dollar with form id chat form, with on method, and under this, we have write submit event, 
So when we have submit form, then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will stop to refresh web page. After this, we want to check validation. So here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar with form id chat form with parsley method dot is valid method. It will execute if block of code. If there is not any validation error occur at the time of form submission. If there is not any validation error occur, then it will execute if block code, and under this block, we have write user ID variable is equal to dollar with hidden field ID login user ID with value method. So here we have store login user ID under this user ID variable. Next, we have write message variable is equal to dollar with text area field ID chat message with value method. So here we have store chat message content under this message variable. Below this, we have write data variable is equal to array and in first key, we have write user ID and in value, we have write user ID variable. Same way in second key, we have write message, and in value, we have write message variable, so this way, we have store data under this data variable. Now we want to send this data to websocket chat.php class, so here we have write websocket object connect dot send method. And under this method, we have write JSON dot stringify method. And under this, we have write data variable. So this method will convert data variable value to JSON string and send to websocket chat.php class. Now we have go to chat.php class, and here this on message method will receive data when we have submit chat form. And here chat form data we can access from this dollar message argument. Now we want to send this chat data to other connected user. So this method will send data to other connected user by using this method. So when one user has send message, then this method has received and this dollar client variable with send method with dollar message variable will send one user chat message. To other connected chat user for display chat message to other connected user we have go to chat room dot php file and here we have go to connect dot on message function this function has received data from chat class on message method and display data to connected user here we can fetch chat message data from this event dot data variable so from this variable we can fetch chat message from websocket library. So here we have write data variable is equal to json.pass method and under this we have write event.data so this method will convert json string to javascript object and store under this data variable. Below this we have write row class variable is equal to bootstrap row and justify content end class this class we will use for format chat message. After this, we have write background class variable is equal to bootstrap alert success class. This variable we will use for display background color. Now we have write HTML data variable is equal to division tag with class is equal to row class variable. Between this tag, 
we have right division tag with class is equal to bootstrap column small 10 class. And between this class, we have right division tag with class is equal to bootstrap shadow small and alert class. And here we have also right background class variable. This for format chat message at client side. And between this, we want to display chat message. So here we have write data dot message variable. So it will display chat message. So here we have store chat content in HTML format and store under this HTML data variable. Now we want to display chat message under chat room area. So here we have write dollar with division tag ID message area with append method. And under this method, we have write HTML data variable, so it will display chat message under chat room division tag. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. So friends, here one user is already login into chat application, and now we have login with other user also. So, in other browser, we can see chat application login page. And here we have enter other user login details. And after this, we have click on login button. So after click on login button, here other user is also redirect to chatroom.php file. So here we can see both user is come on chatroot.php page. Now, we have go to command prompt and go to our chat application directory. After this, here we have write php space, bin folder name slash server dot php file, and we have run this command, so it will start our WebSocket server. Now here, we have refresh page in both user, so both user has been connected, with this chat server, and then after from one user, we have directly click on submit. So here we can see validation error message. So here our parsley form validation is working properly. Now in one user login area, we have type something in text area field and click on submit button. After click on submit button. Here in other user, we can see chat message has been received without refresh of web page. And same way now here from other user. We have type something in text area field. And click on submit button. So here in first user, we can see chat message has been received. So this way this ratchet web socket will deliver chat message from one user to other connected user in real time without refresh of web page. So friends, in this tutorial, we have learned how to send and receive chat message under this chat application using Ratchet WebSocket library. In next part we will improve this chat application with display more chat data like sender and receiver name, date and time details also and then after we will also learn how to store chat message under this MySQL database also. So here we have stopped this video and we will be meet in next video and lastly thank you for watching this video.